INEC washes hands of Imo Supreme Court judgment. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. And thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. Imo State, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, the, their governorship election is something that um, Nigerians have not taken their eyes off. This election took place um, in 2019. And then we saw um, the Apex Court on January 14, 2020, declaring Hope Ozodima as the governor of the state after Emekla Ihedioha won the vote of the people and uh, was about to just um, settling down as the governor of the state before this um, announcement came up. It was INEC initially that declared um, Emeka Ihedioha the winner of this governorship election. Now INEC is washing their hands off because... Um, up to now, the people of Imo State and even other Nigerians have still not accepted Hope Ozodima as the governor of that state. You know, even regarding the crisis going on in Imo State right now, um, some uh, cleric, a particular cleric, um, the person of Primate Adelia, stated that uh, it was because Hope Ozodima took what was not his. He took the mandate of another and until he returns that, um, there will be no peace in Imo State. Also, there is a case that is still uh, um, um, stalling that of um philip umedi versus hopo zodima that case philip umedi is just praying the court to interpret its earlier judgment for some reasons that that case have never seen the light of day there was supposed to be a sitting in january this year but the sitting did not take place for whichever reason and then um, the people of imo state have been looking at hopo zodima and all that he has been doing and then they are still hopeful that um, emeka ihedioha will be returned as governor at some point INEC was blamed that um, they did not do um, due diligence they didn't do the right thing INEC right now have just um, stated their position regarding um, this um, emo state uh, court um, judgment we'll bring you all of the details shortly guys but before we do please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC has washed their hands off the controversial emo gubernatorial verdict delivered by the supreme court that returned the all progressive congress to the douglas house the apex court had on january 14 2020 declared senator hope Ozodima of the all progressive congress that came a distant fourth winner in the gubernatorial election held in the state justice kk ray ekum while delivering the judgment said with a result from the 388 polling units added Mr. Ozodima pulled a majority of the lawful votes and ought to have been declared the winner of the election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. But speaking to the stakeholders, INEC told them to hold the Supreme Court responsible for the reversal of the 2019 governorship election result, which the commission declared in the state. The electoral body made a comment on Monday during the stakeholders' sensitization exercise on creation of new polling units held in Owere, the state capital of Imo. The resident electoral commissioner in the state, Professor Francis Izonu, called on the stakeholders to press upon the National Assembly for a legislation to bar the APS court from absorbing its functions of collating, tabulating, and announcing election results. Earlier in his reaction, the Imo State Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Honorable Rure Emena, queried INEC for its inability to defend the outcome of a transparent 2019 governorship election, which it conducted in Imo State, and also wondered if INEC would claim to be neutral even when it declared a political party winner without a candidate in the Imo North senatorial by election. Many other political leaders and stakeholders took turns to air their grievances, all of which pointed out a looming political apathy in the state. The belief is that electoral votes may no longer count as a few political actors only compromise the judiciary to obtain the collective wishes of the people. Imo State is something else. We know um, uh, there was a battle of late for their by-election, the senatorial position. Same thing that played out. And at that point in time, Nigerians were stating that what is going on in this state, the governor himself is a Supreme Court governor, and for the by-election, 
it was so shocking and this time around what what was going on it was even the battle within themselves because it was apc it was frankie basim versus um ifan yara remedia all of the all progressive congress they battled themselves um frankie basim is a loyalist of um hope Ozodima. and it was stated that hope Ozodima was fighting seriously to ensure that um, frankie basim uh um, returns gets the ticket so that um, he's well fortified, he's well covered, because, you know, up till now, he's still looking over his shoulders. He knows very well that he's the Supreme Court governor. That is what he's referred to, a name he doesn't like. And at some point, he has told Nigerians that um, um, they should stop calling him Supreme Court governor. He's not the only one that has been favored by the Supreme Court. So, you know, after the um, governorship election, INEC, uh, they were attacked that um, they did not do the right thing. They declared a maker Ihedio her as the winner. Why would the courts now come and uh, uh, um, change that uh, declaration that they could not stand their ground or even um, ask the courts for reasonable explanation behind their action. They just um, stood aside that it looks like um, they are not credible enough. But I next speaking, they try to defend themselves, that they've washed their hands, that no one should count them responsible, that they are not part of it. You know, there was a time um, Good Luck Jonathan was even stating that um, a law should be passed out that the Supreme Court does not have any right to declare winner or who is the governor or declare the outcome of an election. That is this body, the, elect um, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, they are responsible for that. However, if there's any uh, um, sort of uh, um, confusion, all the courts can do is nullify the election and order for a rerun. Let them organize that election again. Let the election be conducted again. And the winner will still be declared by INEC because that is their duty. You know, with the court, our judiciary, we cannot trust them. The way things are right now, they are our judiciary, they are loyalists of the All Progressive Congress. You know, Emeka Ahediha was of the People's Democratic Party and they did all, all of their manipulations, press button, did all they could do. That was how um, Hopo Zodima uh, emerged the governor of the state. Things like this, these are the things that uh, um, produces bad governance. When you are not the choice of the people, there's no way you'll be serving the people. At the end of the day, you'll be serving your paymaster. That is why we can see Hope Ozodima in a time like this where we're living, where um, the insecurity has reached the rooftop. Hope Ozodima shamefully was asking Nigerians to leave President Muhammad Buhari alone. He was actually calling out on uh, Buhari's critics to allow Buhari be that Buhari is doing all that he can. Very well, we know that uh, um, he's just, um, he has to speak for Buhari because if he doesn't, that means um, that Philip who made this case will resurface. So he knows that um, very well, if he doesn't uh, um, do the bid of his paymaster, he'll be removed. That's why he's speaking from speaking that way. And it was such a shame, you know, Nigerians really, really lambasted him for saying such, making such comments in this kind of challenging times that we're living in. Well, my people, INEC has washed their hands off that um, they should not be held responsible for um, the, the, the judgment in Imo State. Let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.